uh, Franklin Gomez, who just completed his college career with a victory. Franklin, what did, what did it feel like when the crowd gave you an ovation after winning your final college match? I felt honor by those people and respect, you know. One thing you learn from wrestling is uh, wrestling is such a hard sport. And I just appreciate it when people take that in consideration, respect the sport and the athletes. So, uh, I was really pleased with everyone in my career, you know. How'd you stay motivated, you know, after a tough loss to Dennis last night, coming back? Some people could fold and, and drop down to six because they, they lose their motivation. Mentally, how do you get, get where back to Well, play? after I wrestled Dennis, I mean, I, I thought I went out there and tried my best, even though, like, it didn't win the way I wanted to go. But, like, for example, the last shot, he went around me. Like, I, I'm glad I was looking for my shots. Yeah. And not just like waiting for, for me to not do anything. And I, I was just like, well, it's over. Whatever it's done, you can't change anything. Yeah. Move on. I mean, just be happy with what you got, you know, make the best of it. And I just like, God, help me take third. Let me go for third, you know. Um, I always look at a medal, one, two, and three. So that's all it counts for me. So I'm a medalist, so I'm happy. How about in that in the first match today, you were behind, right? He got the first takedown before you, before you pinned him? Um, no, I, I got a takedown that he reversed me. Okay, but he, he was ahead, or he was tied. How do you um, stay motivated? And how do you, what goes through your head then? I mean, none of you guys knew, but my back was hurting after the Dennis match. Oh, really? Yeah. It was hurting and like, man, I can barely squat down. And I don't even know how I was gonna wrestle all of these matches. To be honest, I asked my coach, I was like, I don't, I can't even bend down. So I was like, God, I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but just help me, help me uh, get to, to this last two matches of my career. Awesome and career. I was able to do it. Well, do you feel like you're gonna continue wrestling? Is freestyle of interest? Oh, I know sure. you have a background in it for all sure the way that's, back as a young that's guy. That's that's my thing. That's a little stop I did. So I can get my education, because wrestling, I mean, was like a, a bridge, a way I can get my education, you know. College here is very expensive, so that was a big help. Uh, do you know, will you compete as an American, will you compete? I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, yeah, I gotta, I gotta go home, talk to my family, hang out a little, a little bit with them, you know, just, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Will you, tr will you compete stuff. this spring, or will you take a little time um, off? Yeah, I'll probably take a little time, not like a year or anything, like maybe right. a month mm -hmm. or two, so I can get my back and everything fixed, you know, and plus this long season, so my body's a little worn out, so a little break won't, won't hurt. Talk about that feeling worn out feeling, compare this to the other years you've wrestled, because I, I know every year you get worn down, but compare this last year. I mean, every year is different. I cannot believe how different every year is. You think you're going to... Like, even the place, the set, like, this is different. It makes everything different. Like, you, you feel different, you feel different. You wrestle different opponents. I mean, my body just feels different too, depending, depending on how many, how to wrestle, how I wrestle, and the people against. So, my body wasn't so sore. My issue with my back, I was a little hurt. But. Congratulations, man. Thank, Thank you, you very much.